Hey YouTube, hey, what's up, how y'all doing? Uh, as you can see, I got my hair done this week. Um, I get braids and my hair trimmed every couple of months. And when the braids come out, I get these beautiful beachy waves that I get to enjoy for at least a whole day. And um, a bunch of people at work are like, oh my gosh, you look different with curly hair. And I'm like, well, it's not really curls, it's beach waves, honey. But whatever. <laughs> so yeah, um, I'm enjoying that today, as you can see. And um, yeah, uh, so I have big news for y'all. I finally got the Lotus box. What? <laughs> I've been waiting for this box since, um, let's see, I subscribed in February for March and it's now April. And uh, I canceled, uh, this is a really long story, so I'm going to try to keep it short, but I canceled in March after they did not answer my emails. Um, after Cratejoy wasn't helping, the Lotus Box company was not being helpful. Half the time, Lotus Box wouldn't even answer my emails. They would just say the exact same thing. They'd be like, oh, let me check on the tracking for you. And then I wouldn't hear anything else back from them. Um, Cratejoy was not being helpful. They just kept saying, oh, has the seller resolved the issue? No, obviously they haven't. So anyway, I had signed up for the monthly subscription. I canceled it in March after I realized I was probably getting screwed over. And, um... I've been waiting since then, and I've been on them nonstop every week. Hey, do you have an update? Hey, are you going to send me a refund? Hey, are you going to send me a new box? Did not hear back until last week, and then they're just like, oh, hey, here you go. Here's the tracking number. We're sending you another one. So, ordered in February, just now getting in April. Um, <laughs> I don't suggest Lotus Box, you guys, for the fact that they can't seem to get the crap together uh, when it comes to shipping and customer service, okay? I'm going to try to do a non-biased review otherwise based on price and product. However, I'm going to tell you up front, I do not suggest them for customer service and shipping. Um, it's sketchy to me and it is worrisome and upsetting because I pay for all these subscriptions, mind you. Like all these ones I try, I do not get sponsorships from the company. All these ones I pick, handpick myself. Ones I think y'all would enjoy, I would enjoy. And uh, when my money, my hard-earned money that I have a full-time job to make uh, gets th thrown into the wind and they're just like, oh, let me take your money and bye. Let me not say anything else. Okay, bye. <laughs> I have a problem with that. So, um, yeah, um, we're still going to have the review and I'm going to try to give you, beyond that, I'm biased. Uh, I got the miniature, which I believe is a little less than 20, somewhere around there. The full size, I believe, is between 30, 40, somewhere in there. So I went ahead and got the miniature size. And luckily I did because I'm lucky this box even showed up, okay, at this point. <laughs> so without further ado, here it is. Um, as you can see, I have to give them credit. Okay, this is a really cute box, you guys. As you can see, this is like peacock um, Feather, not paper, but like the box itself is designed with peacock feathers. I like that. Um, we all remember, well, the ones that have been following me, we remember Pageant Package has this great, great packaging for their boxes. It looks like a really bougie, beautiful Christmas or birthday gift filled with gold confetti, and it was so beautiful. And it was wrapped with, in a beautiful bow. I, I say Pageant Package still has the best packaging, but this is not bad. I'll, I'll give them some props for this. The peacock. Um, design on here, cute, cute touch. So the first thing I noticed when I opened this is the smell. <laughs> it smells really good, not like stink. It smells really good. Okay, as you can see, that's what's on top. Let's see what we have. Be the energy you want to attract. How about uh, ship your boxes on top? <laughs> Just kidding, I'm going to stop. I'm going to stop you guys. Um, yeah, so it's a little pamphlet, which is pretty cool, as you can see. Um, looking in it, they have a meditation and some things to start your day with. Um, it tells you what you got, um, in your box. So I'm not going to read that part. Benefits of Palo Santo. Okay. That's actually interesting to me. And it has a rose quartz, uh, section kind of description. So actually this is really cool, you guys, cause I'm big into crystals now and that kind of uh stuff chakra crystals that kind of thing don't tell my mom <laughs> and um yeah so this is actually going to be really useful for me as i showed you on the back there's like some i believe yeah these are yoga poses 
So actually, this is a really cool pamphlet. I definitely will hold on to this and use this, read over the Palo Santo and the Rose Quartz, use maybe some of these poses. So this is pretty cool. Okay, good start, good start. <laughs> then we have Yogi Tea. Um, I'm a big fan of Yogi Tea, you guys. Um, it's kind of pricey. I've tried several different flavors. There's some flavors I'm going to tell you I did not like. I think the lavender one I thought was pretty gross, and I ended up giving it to my mother because... Not not because it was gross to me, but because I know she'll, for some reason, she likes not picky at all. So, yeah, anyway, point being, I like Yogi Tea. Um, so there's Relaxed Mind. This is like a good, um, of course, yogi, yoga, yoga type thing. Uh, calming. Okay. Oolong, which I might give that one to my mother because she loves Oolong and I don't care for it that much. And oh, this one's actually really great. Kava Stress Relief. This one I read about in um, a green tea diet book I'm reading and saying kava is actually really, really good for you. Um, and really great for um, when you're right before you're trying to go to bed. Basically, it's almost as powerful. I think it says something, don't quote me, but I think it says something like it's almost as powerful as sleeping pills or something. Um, so yeah, love yogi teas. So, all right, I'm cool with that. <laughs> And next we have a guard. Oh, this is what smell in the box so nice. Um, Gardenia vegan soap. Oh, you guys, it says Katy, Texas. Okay, like I said before, I'm not gonna tell y'all where I'm from, but that's kind of local to me. And I don't live in Katy, so don't get any crazy ideas. Um, made with natural and organic ingredients. And then it goes into a list. It smells really strong, but yeah, Gardenia, am I reading that right? Yeah, Gardenia Vegan Soap Bar. <laughs> I'm going to tell you, I am not huge into bars of soap. I'm the one that likes to do like a, what do you call it, <laughs> a liquid soap, you know, and loofahs and stuff, but I mean, it's vegan and it's kind of a local thing, Texas thing, so I'll try it. Calm supplement to help you relax. Good day chocolate, candy coated pieces. You know what? They probably sent this to me because I went off on them and they're like, here, let me give this crazy chick some like, some like calm and stuff, you know. <laughs> it even says two is chill pill, four is feeling fine, six is hello mellow, and eight is maxing and relaxing. Who would eat eight at one time? Like if it's, that's crazy. But yeah, <laughs> it says, good day chocolate, be moody, a chocolate relief, a smooth blend of amino acids and botanicals to help release tension. Now that's mood food. Yeah, they definitely sent me this because they're like, this is a crazy one. We need to send her like the calm down stuff. <laughs> hey, if you take my money and don't send my subscription, like I get on a whole nother level. <laughs> Rose clay mud mask made with natural and organic ingredient ingredients. Okay. But how does it smell? By Smitten Organics, also local, Katy, Texas. Okay, it smells good. I don't know if you can see. It's kind of like this light pink. Um, yeah, that's pretty cool. I mean, I'm not huge on masks and stuff, but I mean, I'm all about the organics and like trying natural stuff. So, okay, so it looks like what we got was a mud mask one. These calming chocolates, too vegan bar soap three by the way this bar soap looks like it's got like a flower or something inside of it i'm not sure um if that what that is but it looks like it's got like an actual flower in there which is cool um a bunch of little teas so let's see we're at one two three four i just count those as one and then a little pamphlet which is pretty cool so five things for like a little less than 20 so that's not bad um a lot of this stuff if you would have bought it, like at these stores they come from you'd be hitting over 20 bucks. You'd probably be more like at 40 just for maybe this, the mud mask. They'd be charging you, you know, 13, 14 bucks or something crazy like that. So yeah, okay, so objectively, being objective, because I told you I was gonna try to be objective. Let's move the box out of my face. Um, <laughs> I think um, had they not really burned me on the shipping and the customer service, I would have liked to try Lotus Box again. And I would have liked to get it in the full size. Honestly, I like pretty much everything they sent me. I would have liked to see the full size. Actually, I think it says in here, if you get the full size, 
you would have also got, okay, light and bright massage candle and fizzy salt. So, okay, they don't add like a whole much extra. So, I would have liked to try it again. Honestly, I like all these things and I like the pamphlet, but they burned me and, you know, I don't think we're going to, they probably don't want me as a customer anymore anyway because I went off on them and ran to, I told on them to create joy. <laughs> So, um, yeah, it's unfortunate. Honestly, this seems like a really cool little idea, cool little box. I like everything they sent. Well, well packaged, um, good product. I feel like I got my money's worth and then some, but they feel they got enough on customer service and shipping. Honestly, I'm sorry. So I don't suggest them and I'm not going to get them again, but it's a shame because honestly, they have really nice product. So yeah, um, like, subscribe, please tell me, comment, tell me what you think, what was your take on the whole situation, have you ever used them, have you had this problem with them, so, uh, yeah, you guys, let me know, good night.